Hello, hello, thanks for tuning in. All right, today I wanted to do a video on the Harbor Freight solar panel. This is gonna be about the three month update because looking in the instruction manual, they said that the panel could degrade by 20% over six months. So I wanted to do a review at three months and then again at six months. If you haven't seen the original unboxing video and performance, click the link above. I appreciate everybody's views. It helps me get videos out like this. So subscribe, hit the thumbs up, like, share. It really helps. So it's been up here for a couple months through all weather, rain, hot, cold. The weather's changing now. It's uh, about to be October. So I'm not sure the exact output we're going to get. Hopefully it's still the same. It's about noon, so the sun is sitting high in the sky. It's pretty clear skies so I'm gonna hook my power meter to it and put a load on it and we're gonna see exactly what this panel does I guess see if it's degraded at all all right the panel's sitting out there with no load and let's see if I can get to some better view for you guys as you can see there are 22 volts open circuit so Panel's still doing well with no load on it, still producing what it's supposed to. And for all fairness, I left it dirty, so I'll check it dirty and clean at different angles, and we'll see what the wattage is. And you'll get a load for this thing. Okay, as you can see, it's still drawing in 5.5 amps at 79 watts, 14.45 volts. I'm gonna go get a load and put it on here so that it doesn't um, shut the charge controller off. But it looks like it's still doing extremely well and performing exactly where it's supposed to. All right, we got the trusty Coleman four amp draw on there. We're pulling 77 watts and you see we had a peak of 82.3 and we are going into the winter. So that tells me that this panel is doing good. I'm going to clean it off now and see if we can get better performance. All right, cleaning it didn't do much of anything. As you can see, let me get that glare out for you guys. There you go. Still pulling in about 77 watts. We had a high amp of 5.6 and change, so it's still definitely outputting what it's supposed to. 82.3 watts max. I'm going to angle it and see if I can get some better wattage here. All right, so a little bit of an angle to compensate for the winter sun. Uh, we're showing around 79, 80 volts still. I mean, uh, watts, sorry. And the amperage is 5.68, which I believe is higher than they specify. And you can see I just got a little box out there, just holding it up. A little bit more of an angle. But we will leave this out here, and this will record all the data we need it to record. All right, just wanted to show this. We are breaking 80 watts consistently, 5.7 amps. This is three months of the solar panel totally being out in the weather. And just a cheap charge controller, just to charge the little box that I have here. And you see 13.2, and we're showing 14 volts going in at 5.7. All right, and as you can see, we're still pumping out over 80 watts, 5.72 amps. We had a peak of 6.20. Let's see where that uh, wattage was. 85 watts. So we're still doing very well. We'll leave it to keep going and see if we get anything higher in the peak. It's been going for about, let's see. It's been going about an hour and a half. All right, it's been out here a few hours. As you can see, we're still getting in about 76 watts. It's later in the afternoon, about 3, 30, 4 o'clock. 85 was the peak. 10 amp hours in, we're still bringing in five and a half amps. 149 watt hours. I'm gonna turn off the load so I can just recharge my battery. And we'll leave the cell phone charging as well. Okay, we're at the end of the day. As you see, it's only got about five watts. The sun is setting. 
we had a voltage minimum of 13.1. 85.1 was the peak watts. We did 13.78 amp hours in about 5 hours, not bad. 193 watt hours. And we had an output of 6.20 amps peak. So this shows you that in 3 months we are actually still getting over what the manufacturer specified. Not in wattage, but as far as uh, peak amp output. So I hope this answers your questions. So yes, at the 3 month mark this thing is still going strong. We will check back in at the six-month mark. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.